Hey, Stuart back again with another one of the uh, Coaching Hacks 3-Minute Masterclasses. So here's a little a little tip for you that I got from a um, brilliant master coach, a guy called Kevin Heath. Um, big up to you, Kevin. Um, check out his, uh, his website, uh, Stash Hockey, if you're into hockey. But even if you're not into hockey, he's got some great kit. Uh, so anyway... Well, I saw Kev do this. It was really good. Got the groups into trying to get the people into teams. Now, the standing way of doing this is you go, you know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All the ones go together. All the twos go together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. But um, I, always, I always quite like this idea. So it gets all the bibs laid out in different colours and says, right, organise, organise yourselves into teams. Now, needless to say, the kids quite often, you know, the ones who are maybe the more advanced, try and get together with their mates and then they play in their teams um, and all that sort of stuff. So you get them into teams. And then you say, right, great, you're in teams. Now, uh, each one of your teams get a different colour bib. So each one of the groups then goes off and gets a different colour bib. And then you say, right, all the same colour bibs get together. And that's your teams. And now you've got a nicely differentiated, mixed up team because the, the kids themselves have organised themselves, self-organised into their teams. And then you break them up and you separate them. Now, they'll get smart to you, so the next time you do it, they'll all then try and be differentiated. And so once they're naturally differentiated, you say, great, we'll go with those teams, and you just play. And then they go, ah, oh. And then, then you've got this ongoing little game that you're playing about getting the big, <laughs> how you, how you organise the teams. But it's a nice, quick and easy way of getting the teams organised. You don't have the faff of, oh, what number was I? Where do I go? What should I do? And also, I've often found that whenever I've done the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, sometimes you end up where you just haven't got the natural differentiation that you were looking for. The teams aren't quite even. And then you have to manufacture and move players across. And it's sometimes a little bit awkward. Whereas this way, the kids actually get the differentiation themselves by virtue of the fact that they want to organise with the players who are so-called, you know, the better players. So they naturally have sort of almost like four or five, however many groups it is kind of organised by sort of roughly speaking ability levels just by the way that they do it or friendship groups and then you split out of that and roughly speaking I've found that the teams are generally generally pretty equal um, and it's also a little bit of a gamified and fun way of getting your teams organised. So there you go, there's a little idea. Use your bibs to pick your teams, have a little bit of fun and play with it. If you like these videos, then, you know, do me a favour, hit the subscribe button, maybe send me a comment, put something in the chat in the, uh, below, let me know how you got on, any other ideas about how you pick teams, share them in the comments so that other people can see them and that would be brilliant. And by all means, share these videos so that other people can find them, the more people we can get uh, watching these and helping out, the more um, the more fun we can all have as coaches. Anyway, hope you get on, hope you get, have a good time with that and uh, see you next time.